Ah, ah. This will be very heavy stairs to climb up. You will have climbed up from the lower compass. You walk all the way up from the lower compass for climbing up. You must know the compass is the compass is on a mountain. So by the time you climb up here, you're gonna be so tired. So this is a view of the of the jammy stairs. I don't know whether the people still call it the jammy stairs, but uh, okay, I'll call it the jammy stairs. I'll call it the jammy stairs because this used to be Jamison Hall. Now it's no more Jamison Hall. It's Sarah Batman Hall. I guess it changed during the time of the fees must fall. I think so. I don't know. Probably. What you call these stairs, my bro? You still call it Jamison still? Sarah Batman. It's not my Jamison. I don't know the name. I don't know the name. Oh. Okay, so I think the name is gone now. It used to be, you know, it used to be, this is Jamie, Jamie Stairs. So if you just, you want to meet your friends or you want to have an appointment, you say they just meet on the Jamie Stairs. But the thing that happened here is the thing that I won't forget. You know, the day Boom Shaka closed up this place, man. This hall was closed up. This whole place was sent upside down. If you know Lebo Matosa and uh, Boom Shaka, I think that was uh, 1990, I can't remember the real year, maybe 1995, 96. Yes, Lebo Matosa and the Boom Shaka were here. And This is half past three guys. I'm on M5, Musenberg Highway uh, 3. This is M M3, M3, Musenberg Highway 3. I'm driving from Cape Town. I'm headed for, for Winebeck, but I'm gonna pass through the rest of Cape Town. Yes. I would like to, to show you the universe of Cape Town. The beauty of the University of Cape Town because the University of Cape Town is just right here on the M3 you just off frame from M3 then you are at the University of Cape Town it's right there in the valley of the University State University State is part of the Table Mountain the whole mountain range that is running from Signal Hill you cross the road, you go on the Table Mountain, you follow that whole mountain range as you're going towards Misenbeck. They call it, until you reach University of Cape Town, they call it University Estate. So, I understand that whole estate is, is under uh, a trust, the roads trust. So you can see how, how rich the road trust is. So probably you can say, the roads trust on the table mountain. You can say that. I stand corrected. But it seems like the roads trust owns the table mountain. But in any case, our focus is on the University of Cape Town. So I'm, I'm ramping off. This is going towards M, M, M2, but I'm going to stay stick with M3. Yes. I want to stick with the M3 and I'm approaching the University of Cape Town. All these buildings that you see here are University of Cape Town residents. All these buildings you see here are University of Cape Town residents. My first residence when I stayed at the University of Cape Town is just right here behind these trees. That was Varitis residence. Guys who were in Varitis, maybe they remember me. That was my race there. Varitis, the one that is there behind the trees, that was my residence. I first stayed in that residence, but before this building was there. So for us to go to invest of Cape Town, we, we just have to up ramp here. So this house that you see here, uh, I stand also corrected. This windmill is part of the 
uh, Kurtiske house. I understand this windmill was what is was is belonging to the house. Uh, it was belonging to the house. Was servicing uh, Rhodes house. Yes. So that house has got a lot of history. I cannot show you now, but it's got a lot of history. I'll come back and visit that. That house used to be Rhodes house. It's called the Kurtiske. So that's where you name. You get the name Kritzke Hospital. It's because of that house. So now we have off ramped. We are now in the campus highway. They call the Husak Drive. It's up here. This is roads to the campus. We're turning to the right to join the campus. So you're not going to get a lot of traffic. You're not going to see the investor vibe because it's it's holiday. I think I will have to visit twice uh, to the invest of Cape Town because. Like right now, there's no university vibe because everybody's on holiday. It's just right now, like if it's holiday like this, it's only the postgrad students, people are busy with their projects, uh, lecturers and stuff like that. But under normal circumstances, this whole place that you're driving through here, it will be all cars full here. It's all cars full. You're not going to get a space to see, to park a car. So we have already entered the University of Cape Town now. Uh, you can see this is the sports center right here this is the sports center normally sometimes down there is a big it's a big big uh, facility also when uh, when people are writing exams a lot of exams they go down in there it's in this sports center uh, so we've already entered so this is the upper campus I think since this is holiday I think it was to give you the real vibe of the university I think I'm going to have to come back, I will do another vlog that focuses on on the structure and the way the University of Cape Town is such as, and the way, like, how do you get around the University of Cape Town and all those things, yeah. How do you get to the University of Cape Town and all around. So, I'll give you a, a brief, a brief uh, I'll just give a brief layout of, of the upper campus. And then I think I'll do another vlog in which I'll do the layout of the whole university. But this is just to give you a feel of the university, but this is not the true feel of the university because this is the Easter holidays. A lot of students, I think 90% of the students are not here. I think by the time I was studying here, the recruitment was sitting at about 20,000, 30,000. So I think now it's still sitting at about 50, 60,000. I don't know how many students are here. I stand to be corrected, anybody who knows much, but this is the road normally when you come here, you want to be dropped by somebody, you take the route that I took, so you come, end up coming to be dropped here, they used to be called the Jammy Stairs, I think now, I see it's Sarah Batman Stairs, this is after the Fuse Must Fall uh, uh, campaign, so I think the name changed from, uh, from Jammy from Jamison Hall to Sarah Batman. So I wonder what the, the kids who are here now call this place, the, what they call it, you know? Uh, but by the time I was here, it used to be the Jammy Stays. So this is the Jammy Stays. Very popular. I don't know what they call it now because now the Jammy, Jamison Hall is gone. So this is the Jammy ah, ah, This will be very heavy stairs to climb up. You will have climbed up from the lower campus you walk all the way up from the lower campus for climbing up you must know the campus is the campus is on a mountain so by the time you climb up yeah you're gonna be so tired so this is the view of the of the jammy stairs i don't know whether the people still call it the jammy stairs but uh okay i'll call it the jammy stairs I'll call it the Jammy Stairs because this used to be Jamison Hall. Now it's no more Jamison Hall. It's Sarah Batman Hall. I guess it changed during the time of the Fizz Must Fall. I think so. I don't know. Probably. What you call these stairs, my bro? You still call it Jamison still? Sarah Batman. It's no more Jamison. I don't know the name. I don't know the name. Oh. Okay. So I think the name is gone now. 
it should be you know it should be this is Jamie Jamie stays so if you just you want to meet your friends or you want to have an appointment you say they just meet on the Jamie stays but the thing that happened here is the thing that I won't forget you know the day boom shaka closed up this place man this hall was closed up this whole place was sent upside down if you know Lebo Matosa and uh, Boom Shaka, I think that was uh, 1990, I can't remember the real year, maybe 1995, 96. Yes, Lebo Matosa and the Boom Shaka were here. And they closed up this place, man. They closed up this campus. I want to tell you what happened here, and I remember. Uh, it was all pandemia here. It was upside down. This place was turned upside down. And I think I must go in a closed environment so that I can tell you the story that happened on this night. When Boom Shaka closed up in West of Cape Town, the whole campus was turned down. The whole, the whole, there was a show was just right inside this, this, uh, this hall. That time it used to be Jameson Hall. Now it's Sarah Batman. So, but anyway, although it's Easter holidays, you can see still people are busy, you know. Yeah, this university, there's no slowing down here. Your 8 o'clock is your 8 o'clock. Yes. Your half past 8 is your half past 8. That's what it is. So uh, let me go in a closed environment. I can talk what happened. This is a very beautiful university, guys. Uh, yeah. Learning is, 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 I believe, it's on its top, you know. One thing that they push here is discipline, following time, and uh, they make sure they get, you know, like, uh, you, you get to be prompt. That's one thing you learn out of this university. I believe it's one of the best, but there are those who agree. And I remember reading somewhere, it said it's one of the best in the world. Uh, also, in terms of research, a lot of things have come out of this university in terms of research. I, when I do my second, my second uh, 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 vlog of this university, I think I'll focus on, on ac academic arrangements and stuff like that of this matter. So, uh, just out of entertainment, guys, I'll tell you something that happened here. You know, I don't know what year was it, 1990-something, you know, the time when Kwaito started, you know. Uh, we were having, I don't know, the opening day of, of university, something like that. They invited Boom Shaka to come and play here. And I showed you there, Sarah Batman Hall. That time used to be Jamison Hall. Right. So that was the scene of the, of the show. The scene was set. It was going to be in Jamison Hall. And then, uh, <clears throat> It was the, the show was going to be in Jamison Hall, but the thing that will happen is that uh, this this university is, a, is an open university. It's like an open campus university. There is no real boundaries in this university. So when 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 Boom Shaka came, I think the people, the students, who invited Boom Shaka to come because they had the money, they invited Boom Shaka. They never realized Boom Shaka has become a big big act in South Africa. Probably because, you know, when you hit campus, we most of the time, spend of time, we focus on studies. We don't really focus too much on what's going out there. Opportunity to go, what's going out there, comes, you grab it at the moment. So it was uh, uh, beginning of the year, lectures, 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 lectures had not yet started. So I think when you, when you open, we had one week where it's orientation week. Yes, yes, it's orientation week. We help the first years and all this were coming in. So most of the time, there's no learning. The ordinary week, there's no learning. People are just socializing because in this university, there is no time to socialize. There's one thing about this university. There's no social life here. Ask anybody who went through this university, they tell you there's no social life here. And my only social life I had, I had through my cousins. We had come through before me. So I think I had it, I had a soft landing because of them. I was able, able to have a soft landing because they received me into the university and I was able to like 
at least acclimatize besides me having my own problems like financial problems and all that the thing that really dogged me here was financial problems you know i came up to realize that you know i'll talk it's a thing that i'll talk another day you know but what i want to focus on is what happened the day boom shaka came you know on this day bush ever came uh i remember lebo matosa you know first time i saw lebo matosa we had known about uh boom shaka like uh, singing her song uh uh it's about time to listen to boom shaka and all that so where they'd gone out the whole cape town boom shaka is in town the place was packed up campus on this day you know the whole disorder started in the races all of a sudden people were fighting in the residence people were getting attacked suddenly uh students were getting uh i don't know what happened i don't know what spirit came into the campus you know how much violence that came up on that day and it came worse I, I i had to fight you know i remember i think my cousin organized a ticket for me for me to be able to attend this show and uh i attend the show i could not even be with my cousin because they were busy running around you know it was excitement at this university they were running around i ended up going to attend the show i managed to enter the the, the jameson hall it was jam packed up people could not come in outside it was it was it was it was like i don't know how to describe it was crowds and crowds and crowds now when lebo matosa went on stage you know the system was so big then the real spirit went out guys on this day i think this university survived the fire you know uh, one of the big fires but i can tell you today this university survived the boom shaka pandemonium it survived the fire but it also survived the boom shaka pandemonium on this day i remember i was inside trying to watch and you know i'm trying to focus when lemo matosa went went on stage and and she started to sing that with the bad time and all that I, I, i don't the crowd went mad the students went mad you know everything lost control everybody was uncontrollable I wonder what spirit was in. You know, suddenly there were like two guys who were standing next to me. They just started to attack me. You know, it, that's how mad they are. There were two guys. They started just punching me, hitting me, dragging, dragging on me. You know, that is how mad the the whole thing. People just lost control. It was just violence. And I remember I had to defend myself. And bad enough for those guys, I was still in my like, you know tip top you know and they they got what's coming to them and i remember more 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 students like more crowds from the joining to help to help them when they realized that i was like on top of the game more students joined in to help i don't think it's students even i think it's it's like more friends you know more friends of those guys joined in i remember they tried to drag me in and me i was not interested in any not interested in any of that thing All I wanted was to watch. I was not gonna miss my uh, my show. So when they realized they could not track me out, I remember they just gave up. But the thing that went out that day, the rap cases that happened on that day, the shootings that went out on that day, you know, the the breaking up, the vandalism that went out on that day, you know, was just out of this world. And that was the last day. And I remember the vice chancellor was uh, Mampere. Yeah, Mampere Ampele. She was the one who was the vice chancellor. And I remember she she she, she made a declaration that uh, uh, there will never be any more still street bashes. There will never be any more open uh, functions. And uh, a lot of changes were done. But on this day when Bumshaka came, man, I saw something that I've never seen how a group can turn a whole crowd of people into madness i think these students were bottling up frustration academic frustration financial frustration social frustration and when boom shaka came they let loose 
it was it was one of the maddest moment I've ever seen. I've attended shows. I've attended shows. I, I, I watched Michael Jackson live. I watched you before live. I watched uh, big big shows, man, live. But what I saw on this day with Boom Shaka was just out of this world. And I would like to remember Lepo Matosa and uh, remember with Tembi the, and uh, I don't know, Justin or whoever, the other young guy. I, I remember on this day, they really made uh, this campus upside down. This is uh, one of those memories I have about this campus. But I will come back with a lot of issue things with, uh, with, uh, that involves... Uh, Happy stories and sad stories and good and bad things that were happening on campus. I'll come back again. I'll do another vlog so that I can be able to capture the the the, the scene and the atmosphere of the, of the campus when this is when it's not on holiday. Uh, but in any case, guys, uh, I'd like to ask you to support Bomani Cox, Bomani Cogan. Uh, support, uh, please comment. Uh, give the video a thumbs up, uh, and I will sh I'll come back uh, one, of, one of these days when when the campus in full when the campus is in full swing to show you and give you more details of this university, especially for those people who like to study or send their kids here. I think this is one of the tip top university, guys. Thank you.